All right, here we are in the Unity Hub and it's time to create our new project. So I'm going to click on New and we'll get a nice little dialog here and we wanna select the 2D template because we're gonna make a 2D game. I'm gonna give it a name and I'm gonna call it Dragons and then I'm gonna put it in my Projects folder. You probably wanna have a good folder where you keep all of your projects. So I'll hit Create. And it may take a minute or two depending on how fast your system is, but when it's done, it should look just like this. We have a new Unity instance open with an empty project, a sample scene, and just a scenes folder down here in our project view. In the middle, you should see that we have the scene view selected, and we have a camera there that we can even click on and view some info about. Now that our project is ready, it's time to pull in some art. So you need to download the Dragon Art Unity package that's linked below should look just like this when you're done downloading it. And then you take it and drag it from wherever you downloaded it right into Unity. Or if you only have one instance of Unity open, you can just double click on it as well. And it'll pop up this import Unity package dialog. A Unity package is really just a file with a bunch of Unity files in it. So it's like a zip file if you're familiar with those. This one has just four art files, four PNG files, which are transparent textures that we'll use for 2D game development. Here you see we have some stumps, and if we click on them, we can actually see a preview. You might be able to see the preview of the dragons. Sometimes it works, sometimes the preview doesn't. But just leave all four of those checked. They should be by default, and hit the import button. And then watch in the project view. We should get our art folder pulled right in, and if I click on it, I can see my blue dragon, my forest, my red dragon, and the stumps. Now that we have our dragon sprite ready, let's take it and drag it right onto the scene. So left click, hold down the button, and then drag it right up here to the camera area. You should see something like this. It may look a little purple or something until you release it. If so, don't worry, just drop it and then it should appear like this. Now if it looks strange, let me select this blue dragon right here. The texture type could be set wrong. It's set to sprite, 2D and UI, but if you pulled it out and did something with it, it may have changed. And it may be on default. And let's hit apply on default and see, look, it doesn't show up. So if yours isn't showing up or you can't drag it out, you get this weird, um, well, the, the blocking icon there, then check the sprite and make sure that it's actually set to the sprite type. And then just hit apply and it should reappear. So now I'm gonna go over the scene view and I'm gonna use the mouse wheel to zoom out. So if I zoom out like this, and I can zoom back in like this, you can see that this white box appears. This white box shows me what our player is going to see. So if I select this game tab right here, I can just click on it, you see that it kind of matches what we were seeing in that white box. Let's uh, go back. Our character is a little bit offset from the center here. If I grab him, just select him once with a left click, or I can click over here, and then drag him over to the center like this, and go back to my game view, I should see him in the center. Now these tabs are dockable, so I can pull them, slide them, and move them around, rearrange them, and I can even see now I have a square game view. I could even pull this off to another monitor, which I do quite often. So if you have multiple monitors, consider using a separate monitor for your game view, just so you can see what's going on while you're editing at the same time and while you're playing. Now speaking of playing, let's hit the play button right here to start our game. Hit play and it should automatically switch over to that game view tab. I didn't click it, it just happened automatically. And here's our game. We have a dragon sitting on a blue background. Relatively boring, right? So let's stop playing and make this a lot more entertaining. To stop playing, we just click the play button again. If you hit the pause button, let's just do that real quick and see what it does. Well, nothing will really change, but we'll go back to the scene view, but we're still in play mode. If you do this, then anything that you do afterward won't be saved. So say I took my red dragon and dropped him out there, dropped out another red dragon, even moved this guy all around. I stopped playing, all of those changes are gone. So make sure that you've stopped playing before you start working again. Don't just pause, hit the play button, make sure that it's all back to normal mode. So you just saw me drag the red dragon out there, but that's not what we wanna do. I wanna get the forest next. I wanna put a background into our game. So I'm gonna take this forest background select it, and then just drag it right out onto the scene. And I'll probably put it right around here so it's just over the white edge, that little white corner there. And then I'm gonna take this edge right here and I'm gonna drag it down so that it covers this box. I mostly just wanna cover this area. And if it's a little bit over, that's fine. I just don't wanna go under. Now, you might not have this tool available. You might not see these little drag points. If so, just make sure that you click right here on this tool. These are actually all of the different tools that we can use to control things in the editor. You see, as I click them, they change. I get a hand. That's just for dragging around and moving around. I can also use the right mouse button for that. 
I have a transform move tool, which just lets me move things left, right, up and down. And if we're in 3D space, I can move it deeper into the world or bring it closer to me. A rotate tool just lets me rotate things. And I can hit control Z to undo my rotation. And then I have a scale tool, which is similar to the one that you just saw, but I can just drag in different directions instead of grabbing the edges. I'm going to again hit control Z to undo that. And then there's this, uh, I forget, this is the erect tool, that's the name, which is nice and easy to drag around. And it's the most common one that I use in 2D development. And then this is kind of the all-in-one tool, but it doesn't really work well for 2D. I stick with the erect tool for most 2D stuff. Now let's hit play and see what our game looks like again. And it's still not very exciting. We just have a dragon kind of sitting in front of a forest. Not much to do here. So it's time for us to start actually adding some interactivity, doing some scripting and setting up physics. And we're going to do that in the next section. So get this part done, get your art right, kind of scale it around how you want, and then come over to the next section. We're going to work on physics and player input. And also remember, if you like this kind of video, make sure that you hit the like button or share it or just let me know so I can keep making more of these.